uh, vessel contains a mixture of milk and water in the respective ratio of 3 is to 1. A vessel contains mixture of milk and water in the respective ratio of 3 is to 1. So, there is one vessel. I am doing some not and key here by drawing a diagram and all that, but you do not have to do that in the exam. Right? Just for the sake of clear explanation, the first vessel has got milk and water. In what ratio? It has got milk and water in the 3 is to 1 ratio. 32 liter of the mixture was taken out. We have removed how much? 32 minus 32. From this, you have removed 32. And replaced with the same quantity of milk so that the resultant ratio between the quantities of milk and water in the mixture was 4 is to 1. So, what are you doing? From this vessel, you have removed 32 liters of mixture. 32 of mixture is removed. And what is added? 32 liters of milk is added. Are you able to follow? From this mixture, 32 liters is removed. Of mixture is removed. And 32 liters of milk is added. You see, replaced with the same quantity of milk. So that the resultant, after doing this, we will get a resultant, right? That resultant mixture will have milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So we will get a new vessel. I mean, new vessel meaning new mixture. M dash is to W dash, let's say. I am explaining the question first of all, right? This ratio is 4 is to 1. After doing all this, the ratio is 4 is to 1. Are you able to follow? The ratio here is 4 is to 1. Okay. Then again, 10 liter of mixture is removed from this. So, how much is the water remaining is the question. The first and foremost, we will have to establish how much was the initial quantities of milk and water here. What was the initial quantities of milk and water? See, understand, I can say, I mean, if you, if you look at it, uh, you know, we know that m dash by w dash is 4 is 1, right? So, m dash by w dash, which is equal to 4 by 1, can be taken as, see, how much is uh, initial milk? 3 parts, 3x and 2, uh, 3x and x. I can say milk is 3x, water is x. So, initially the milk was 3x. We have removed how much? 32 liters of mixture. See, from this 32, when you are removing 32 liters of mixture, how much of milk and how much of water comes out? So, you have to divide 32 in the ratio of 3 is to 1. You are getting it? You must divide 32 in the ratio of 3 is to 1. When you are removing 32 liters of mixture, out of this 32 liters, 24 liters will be milk and 8 liters would be water. How do you do that? 3 fourth of 32 and 1 fourth of 32. The ratio is 3 is to 1, right? So, 3 parts out of total 4 parts. 1 part out of total 4 parts. So, this is equal to 24 minus 24 and this is minus 8. This is about milk and this is about water. You getting it from 32 liters when in, uh, removed uh, sorry from the 32 liters that is removed 24 liters is milk and 8 liters is water so basically i can say that i am removing 24 liters of milk so from 3x initial quantity was 3x from which we have removed 24 all these can be done mentally again don't look at the diagram and think that this is a lengthy solution i am explaining in detail right you can do these calculations very quickly so from 3x we have removed 24 liters have we added any milk yes we have added how much milk 32 liters of milk plus 32 divided by from the water initial water was x from that how much has been removed 8 has been removed have we added any water no only milk was added water was not added that's it so from this will you be able to get x yes solve for this what 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 do we get so 3x plus 8 by x minus 8 equals to 4 by 1 so this will be 4x minus 32 so 4x minus 3x x x equals to 8 plus 32 40 x is equal to 40 x is equal to 40. Done. So, we know that initially, you are able to follow. Are you all able to follow? Initially, the milk was uh, 120 liters and the water was 40 liters. 3x in x, right? So, 3 into x, 120 liters and the water was 40 liters. Right? Is the, is the point clear to all of you? But why did we do that? Do we have to find out the initial quantity? He says uh, the resultant ratio between the quantities of milk and water in the mixture is 4 is to 1. Okay. Now, can you tell me how much is the new quantity here? New quantity of milk and water? New quantity of milk and water? See, initial quantities has been obtained. 120 liters and 40 liters. Now, tell me what are the new quantities? See, 120, new quantity. New quantity of milk is 120 plus 8, 128. So, this is 3x plus 8, right? So, new quantity is m dash, m dash is equal to 3x plus 8, which is 128, w dash is equal to, you know, x minus 8, 40 minus 8, which is 32, sorry, I think I am making it lengthy by writing all the steps, please cut it down, this is 32, ratio is 4 is 1, anyway the ratio was given, right, 4 is 1, 128 and 32, the ratio is 4 is 1, the, he says from this 
uh, I mean, we have we have reached this point now. Now, if you, if 10 liter of this mixture is taken out from the vessel, what is the resultant quantity of water in the mixture? So from this, 10 liter is being taken out. How much is being removed? 10 liters is being removed. Like earlier, we have removed 32 liters. Now we are removing 10 liters. So how much is the resultant quantity of water? What will be the resultant water? Resultant quantity of water, how much will that be? See, the water now at this point is 32 liters. From this mixture, how much has been removed? 10 liters has been removed. But out of that 10 liter, how much is water? One fifth will be water. The ratio is 4 is to 1, right? So water will be 1 parts out of every 5 parts multiplied by 10. So 32 minus 2, 30 liters will be the answer. You getting it? 32 minus 2, 30 liters will be the answer, which is option 2.